Good evening and welcome to another video on All How The Ale. It's Saturday night, which means it's craft beer night and the beer we're going for is this one. It is Abstract Lens, which is a double IPA from North Brewing and Alpha Delta. It weighs in at 8% and it says on the back of the can that it is a smooth and hazy double IPA featuring Idaho 7, Talus and Citra hops, bursting with ripe, juicy, tropical flavour. And uh, yeah, like I say, brewed in collaboration with Alpha Delta, who makes some really nice beers, as do North. So uh, yeah, I'm excited for this one. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I can tell you, apart from the fact that it is about £3.50 in your local Tesco right now. Yeah, there we go. So let's get it out into a glass and see what we think, shall we? Let's not hold up the proceedings any longer than we have to. Lively one. Lively-ish anyway. So we're pouring into my Teku glass, and the pour is hazy. I'm not gonna go nuts on the pour, we're not gonna fill the glass, that'll do. So we have, as promised, a hazy beer with a nice white head, it's juicy and orange. It looks really nice, it looks inviting, makes me wanna go in for a whiff, which is exactly what we're gonna do. Oh, oh yes, oh, 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 I love that, I love that, it's, lo it's lovely, it's tropical, it's big, it's pineapple-y. That, that is a really nice smelling beer. Big pineapple, citrus, stone fruit. Oh, it smells divine, you've got a real sherbety citrus on, sort of sitting behind that, that pineapple. Smells wonderful. Why is it not summer when we get these beers? It's uh, it's early October and the weather's pants. So this this smells like summer in a glass. It's wonderful. Yeah. Anyway, so it looks looks good. Smells amazing. Let's have a taste. Cheers. Mmm. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, it delivers. It is juicy. It is tropical. It's slightly dank. And I love dank hops. I love, love, love them. Um, I mean, it, it, there's no mosaic in this one, and that I find is the dankest of them all. And, uh, but yeah, there's an element of dank here over and above that juicy pineapple, that nice, smooth, Although it's sherbety on the nose, it's a smooth citrus on the on the palate. Body is soft and light. Carbonation is smooth. And the finish is exactly what I want. In as much as it's hoppy. Not massively in your face. There's not a huge amount of bitterness. A little bit of dryness. Tiny hint of resin on the back end. It's nice. I don't know if it's the best thing or the worst thing about it. There's no sign of that 8% at all. It's really easy to drink and that makes it dangerous. I could sit and knock that back and not even think about it. It's just so, so smooth and easy drinking. Oh, we've got a tiny hint of that alcohol just first bit I've got. And it's, yeah, it's lovely, it's lovely. Mm. Oh yes, so abstract lens from uh, North and Alpha Delta. Let's consult the scoreboard of joy from Untapped, the Aid Memoir, which says there's been about a thousand check-ins and look at that average, 3.92. It's pretty damn good in the average world of Untapped. But what do I think of it? Well, we're going to fill in the empty scoreboard of joy, which covers the looks, the aroma, the body, the taste, and the finish. But before we do, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to give it some points. So the appearance of the beer. Let's pour a little more, just so we can uh, reinvigorate what's there. We've got some nice, nice little bit of lacing on the glass. A little more. Why not? Look at that. It's juicy. It's got a lovely head to it. It's got haze for days. You know, I can't really. I can, about to see shadow through it up close and personal that's your beer in a glass it's lovely let's be honest can i fault it no i cannot it's getting the full point from me 
The aromas, ah, oh, well, as soon as I stuck my nose in the first time around, you knew it was going to get full points. Big pineapple, sharp, zesty citrus. Nice bit of ripe stone fruit. And we're talking mango, peach, that kind of thing. Something a little bit sharp sitting in the background of it as well. And it's, it's, it's wonderful. It's kind of got that papaya guava type thing going on in the background. It's wonderful. Is it perfect? It's not far off. I love it. I'm going to give it the point. I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be giving it the benefit of the doubt there. The body on a double IPA. I like them to be thick and sticky and chewy and, and heavy. This one, it's not as heavy as I was expecting and hoping for in a double IPA, but the carbonation is spot on. It's smooth. It's really nice in the mouth. It's just not as heavy as I was hoping for. Still very, very, very good though. I'm going to give it the 0.75. If it was heavier, it would be perfect. But like I said, carbonation is lovely. And for the most important bit, the taste, it is exceptionally good. Whilst it's not as bitter as perhaps I ordinarily like a double IPA, I cannot fault what is here in the glass right now. It's juicy, it's tropical, it's got a nice level of hop to it. It's not over hopped, it's not under hopped, it's just about right. If it had any less, I'd have a perhaps lower opinion of the taste, but it's it, spot on for what it is. Just the tiniest sign of alcohol. The more you drink it, the more you can taste it. And normally it's the other way around for me. I find you get a big burn up front and then nothing. This one, it's just about there as it comes through. It's, it's really, really good. I cannot fault it. I'm giving it the full point. And on the finish, we know I love them. Hoppy, long, bitter on a double IPA. This one is hoppy, it's relatively long, tiniest hint of pine resin. I want more bitterness though. I must admit, I want more bitterness. It's dry, I like that though. I do like that, but it definitely needs more bitter. Two out of three of the things, I'm gonna give it the 0.75, which means the abstract lens has got a total of four and a half out of five from my scoreboard of joy. So there we have it. You know, it's got a great average score on Untapped. Mine is going to tick it up a little bit more than that, I would say. And uh, yeah, not bad beer for £3.50 from your local Tesco. And that is exactly where we're going to leave it. We're going to say, that's been the beer. I've been Nick. Down there are the buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got like, comment, dislike and subscribe. Choose any combination of them as you wish. And do let me know if you've had the beer below in the comments section. Catch you again soon.